I'm down here at the waterfront in Seattle, and there is a project going on where they're carving a totem pole in memory of John T. Williams. I'm just going to read the information here. John T. Williams was a seventh generation wood carver from the Dinot tribe of British Columbia. Um, John was a master carver since the age of 15. His great grandfather was the first first sold totems and other carvings to a shop over 90 years ago. John works and other family projects. Pieces are displayed all over Seattle, White House, and even Smithsonian. So this is the part that gets interesting. John was actually a victim of police brutality. On the 30th of August of 2010, John was crossing the street and carrying a plank of wood and his carving knife. An officer of the Seattle police <coughs> hastily mistook John as a threat yelled him to put down the knife and within four seconds opened fire and killing John instantly. Death has been labeled as unjust and the court proceedings are still pending. Um, so therefore his brother um, was commissioned to carve these totems. So I'm going to swing around and get a shot of the totem poles that are being carved in John's memory. And uh, once again, just another victim of police brutality and unjust death. So I'm going to swing around to the totem poles that are being carved in his memory. So there's actually two that are almost finished being carved and painted. And there's also one that's right next to me that has not yet been carved. Um, it's just starting. And they are carving these all by pocket knife. So they're pretty large totems, and they're definitely full of detail. And it's kind of hard to capture them, like how they actually look, but that gives you an idea. So these are going on display around the city. And that's it.